Hi guys, welcome to third grade chapter nine, lesson two. We're gonna go ahead and get started. So it looks like all of our numbers here all have the same denominator, so the same bottom number, okay? So all we're gonna do is see the one that has the bigger top number, and that's gonna be our bigger number, okay? So we both have a six on the bottom, so we're just gonna look at the top, three and zero. Well, three is the bigger one, and the alligator opens to the bigger number, okay? One half and one half, well, that's identical, equal. We have five, six, and we have six, six. Bottoms are the same. Looking at the top, the one with the six is bigger. Okay. Same denominator. Top is seven and five. Seven is bigger. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to let you guys finish up through number 15. You can totally do it. Okay. We're going to go down to number 16. It says, Ben mowed five six of his lawn in one hour. John mowed four six of his lawn in one hour. He mowed less of his lawn in one hour. So five six or four six, which one is smaller? Okay, denominators are the same. Five and four, four is going to be smaller, so that's going to be John. All right. Darcy baked eight muffins. She put five, oh sorry, she put blueberries in five eighths of the muffins. She put raspberries in three eighths of the muffins. Did more muffins have blueberries or raspberries? Well, the denominators are the same. So we're looking at the one with the bigger denominator. That's going to be blueberries. All right. All right, guys, we're going over to the back side where you guys are going to do the lesson check, just like always. And we are going to go down and do a spiral review. It says Mr. Edwards buys two new knobs for each of his kitchen cabinets. The kitchen has nine cabinets. So nine times two, well, that's 18. So 18 knobs. All right. Allie builds a new bookcase with eight shelves. She can put 30 books on each shelf. How many books can a suitcase hold? Well, 30 times 8, I'm going to take that 0 off, I'm going to put it at the end, and 8 times 3 is 24, so 240 books. Okay. All right, the Good Morning Cafe has 28 customers for breakfast. There are four people sitting at each table. How many tables are filled? Gosh, all right. So, 28. Divided by 4, or 4 times blank is 28. Well, I know that 4 times 7 is 28. If you do not know your multiplication facts, you need to get on that. Ella wants to use the commutative property of multiplication to help find the product of 5 times 4. What number sentence can she use? Okay, so the commutative property, when you commute, you move. So when you commute to work, you go from home to work. Okay, that means that all we're doing is we're using the same numbers. We're just changing the order. We are moving the numbers around. Okay. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 9.2. Come on back for 9.3. See you soon.